Calling the Monday, January 9th, 2023, Ellettsville Town Council to order. And which one? Move those two apart from each other. It's off. It's off? Yeah. We've got ours off. We got theirs off. We'll turn but don't they need to have them to hear for it. cats? Well, hang on. Turn them off. Not if they make a quick back noise. Sorry, on or off, off, off is not the problem. No, the, the problems between the amplifier and the speakers. So it's not those. It's not the microphones. Okay. You got bad amp right. amplifier and a bad speaker. All right. We'll have to deal with it. Apologies to those on Zoom. Apologies to those watching elsewhere, and especially to those in the audience. But who has the pledge tonight? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jimmy? Our Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening and thank you so much again for this little town we serve. We ask you to be with us tonight. We even guide our thoughts and our conversations. Be with us as we make the decisions that affect our community. We ask you to in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <coughs> Roll call, Sandy. William Ellis. Here. Trevor Sager. Here. Scott Oldham. Here. Pamela Samples. Here. Dan Swafford. Here. All right, first thing on the agenda is election of officers, president and vice president. I'll so make a motion to elect William Ellis as president. Second. I'll accept the nomination. William. Do we have to put that in the table? Do we have to put that in the table? No. We can. I mean, I don't know. What? Should we add a caveat about April? I don't know if we should say we're resigning. Yeah. Um, so, are you ready no. for roll call? Yeah. Hold on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We can do that. Okay. So, it'd be an amended motion. Well, but you'll have to amend it's it. It's just a nomination yeah. right now. Well, right. Know, we're, we're thinking something different okay. here. <laughs> Trevor, could I prevail upon you to? Remove your motion from the floor and I'll offer an alternative. Go ahead. Uh, I would move that we forgo these elections until at least the first meeting in April and leave everything the status quo as it currently is. Because last year we had a change mid year. So give everybody a year to serve in their terms and we can reevaluate the positions in April. For Vice President, President, that doesn't yes. violate any laws or anything, does it, Tom? Uh, what I would do, I think there's a code that requires the uh, municipality to select officers at the first meeting in January. So uh, maybe it would be appropriate to have a motion for William Ellis to continue until April or something along those lines. And Trevor. Yeah. And Trevor is vice. Okay. Just to keep. So moved. All right. Second. To keep it cleaner. Yes. William Ellis. Yes. Trevor Sager. Yes. Dan. Scott Oldham? Yes. Dan Swafford? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. All right, next thing is plan commission. There are two terms uh, ending in 2022, uh, appointed by council president. Uh, we need a Democrat and one Republican. For the Republican, uh, it would be Don <coughs> Calvert. Is Don here? I guess we'll appoint him. And then for the Democrat, Steve Hale. Steve, do you want to say just 30 seconds at the mic? Sure. All right. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, just a brief introduction. Okay. My name is Steve Hale. I've been a resident of Eltsville since 2007. Uh, I've ran for some offices prior. I've been a member of the Monroe County Sheriff's Office for 22 years up until this past September when I retired due to a medical issue. Uh, I have a business in uh, Ellisville here. It's Indiana Fitness Club. We've recently expanded to Bedford as well as we're opening a fourth gym in Paoli right now. So trying to do a lot of things uh, within the community and outside as well. So. 
let's see what we can do to help Beltsville right. grow and expand. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. All right, <clears throat> next is the Board of Zoning Appeals, appointed by Council President, uh, term ending in 2022, Zach Michael. Um, was, we did miss one. Oh yes, Dan. I'm sorry. I thought yes. Yes. Council vote. Dan, do you wish to reserve? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. Good catch, Darla. The t print's tiny, and my glasses aren't doing their job. <laughs> so we need right, a motion. Do, do we have council action on this? I'll make a motion to appoint Dan Swafford uh, to the planning commission. Second. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Dan Swafford? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Board of Zoning Appeals. Um, we have a term ending in 2022, Zach Michael, uh, that's appointed by the council president. Um, Zach, has, has he indicated that he'd like to serve again? I have not talked to Zach about this. Okay. Um, do you know any? No, I don't. I, okay. I don't. I don't think so, but I will. That's I will. Probably one by duties, probably the way I've been. Okay. Um, Darla, what can we wait on this one? Yes. Okay. And then the there's a point by the plan commission at their next vote, yes. uh, their next meeting. Yes. All right. Now, a fun one Parks and Recreation Board, appointed by council vote. Amy Slaybaugh, as uh, term ends in 2022, and I think that she would prefer. That, that's that's yeah. correct. Okay. All right. Awesome. You want Laura to just say a few words too, Jimmy? Yeah. yeah. We can do that. Laura, come up and say it. Laura gets a put her on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to kill me for that later, but. <laughs> lived in Ellettsville for about 15 years. Um, I have two little girls in the Edgewood school system. Um, I was a registered nurse for about 12 years and since then just work with our family business full time. Thank you, Thank you very much. You. All right, do we have council action on this? <clears throat> Move to appoint Laura Hale to the Parks and Recreation Board. Second. <laughs> William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Dan Swafford? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. <laughs> and I guess if I were, uh, <clears throat> uh, there's no action for them tonight and any paperwork or anything they need tonight or anything? <laughs> yeah, I'll have to get them some payroll okay. information. Okay. All right. Do, they, do we swear to them? No. Okay. I, I yeah. haven't done it in the past. It's <laughs> up for debate right well, now. Yeah, we're still <laughs> talking about that. <clears throat> All right. All appointments will be for a four-year term, and those will end in 2026. So, and these are the annual appointments by the town council. So, should we just take all of these at once, or do all of these individually, or how do we customarily do this? Because this is my first rodeo with this. Well, I've written <clears throat> motions for all of them, so. Okay. All right. So, Monroe County Emergency Management Advisory Council, Kevin Patton. Uh, he's our, also our fire chief, if everybody didn't know. So do we have council action on that? <clears throat> Kevin, are you wanting to stay on sure, that? I'm okay. confused as well. We're I move the motion each of these. You that's don't have to if you don't want. Oh. I just wrote them all out, but okay. So we. Just keeps I would it. just rather read all of them. Is a block, and, yeah. Right. So you're okay with that, Sandy? If we do I that. I am. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do Monroe County Emergency Management Advisory Council. Kevin Patton is willing to serve. Monroe County Solid Waste District Board. Dan, are you still willing? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Ellettsville Chamber of Commerce, Mike Farmer? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, Metropolitan Planning Organization, the MPO, Pam? Yes. Um, okay. That's the advisory board, the MPO advisory board. Oh, okay. It's, it's not on there, so I'm sorry. Thank I've you. I've never put it on, and I apologize for that. Denise is the first person to advise me in that, and I'd already done the agenda. <laughs> what is the difference? There's also an MPO tag that I'm on. Okay. Health officer? Kevin, I'm going to do a couple of hats today. And Bloomington Economic Development. We have four seats available for that. So Mike's yeah. one. So, you want to do that? Uh, yeah, I was one. Uh, Pam would like to be on the executive uh, committee with me. And then we have two general seats, and I'd like to have Denise appointed as well as Noel. All right. And 
they go to the general meetings, whereas and I go to the executive. All right. All right. Do we have council action on this? I'll make a motion to approve all annual appointments made by the town council this evening. Second. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Dan Swafford? Yes. Scott Oldham? Did I already say Scott? No. Um, <laughs> yes. And Pam Samples? Yes. Motion carries. All right. <clears throat> Approval of minutes for the regular meeting, December 27th, 2022. Okay, I will make a motion to approve the minutes for the regular meeting, December 27, 2022. Second. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? I'll abstain, not present. Scott Oldham? Yes. Dan Swafford? Abstain, not present. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, action to pay accounts, payable vo vouchers, and payroll. So moved. Second. Second. Who wants that second? I'll take it. Are we keeping track just out of interest? All right. Is there a scorecard? I've always wondered. No. It's like a bingo card. Kind of. Yeah. We there's, oh. there's a payout at the end of the year, I think. There is a payout? Is yeah. that one of the budget funds we did? That I, I was an over-under. Oh, sure. an over-under, you're right. Okay. William Ellis? <laughs> yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Dan Swalford? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carried. <laughs> well, I'll be looking at the minutes next to you to see how much of this got in it. <laughs> that won't be in it, yeah. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, resolution 01-2023, cancellation of warrants, hold outstanding checks. I think Sandy put that on for me because the first time I saw cancellation of warrants, I thought we had like a bunch of people to arrest, so. But this is just standard good. procedure. They've been outstanding for the maximum amount of allowed time, so we're just gonna cancel those out, right, and get them off the books. Okay. So moved. So. Oh, hang, okay. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Dan Swafford? Yes. Pam Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Resolution 02-2023, temporary loan from rainy day fund to local income tax economic development fund. Well, as you all know, that's a brand new fund. It's a brand new tax. We haven't gotten any receipts in it yet, but in the budget, we started paying people out of that for payroll. So I'm temporarily gonna move $200,000 from the rainy day fund into that. As soon as I get 200,000 in that fund, I'll move it back. Okay. And I'll let you know when I do that. All right. Council action. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2 2023 temporary loan from rainy day fund to local income tax economic development fund. Second. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Dan Swafford? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Ordinance is on first reading. Ordinance 2023 01 to create a fund for evidence money. Jimmy? Uh, this is something that we've worked with with Darla, and uh, this is, we have money in the evidence room that we need to put somewhere besides the evidence room. And the best place to put that's at a, a, a bank account or a bank account. So uh, that's, what, that's what we're going to do. So we're inventorying now with the, in the evidence room, and we should have it ready to go with time. You approve it next meeting. Or if you approve it next meeting. <coughs> How are you having to say? No. Nope. Um, I would make a motion to table this okay. so we can have some further discussion. Yeah, it's, it's on the first reading. Okay. Yeah, we had a potential going the other way. Yeah. <coughs> All right. I'll explain later. So we don't need to table it since it's just first reading. Right. But, but, but if we're yeah. going to go there. Yeah. Yes, exactly. That's. Oh, I. I was, was that, that just from the last time? I just put that out in case, because sometimes oh. it comes up and... Gotcha, and, okay. And um, I, I have worked with Zach Michael on this, and, you know, there was some current concern about evidence, and but this money is more safekeeping money. It's... Let's not discuss... It's a drug bus. Right. You have to keep pictures of the money and serial numbers and all that, yeah. Let, let's discuss this a little bit more before we go down this road, because okay. I think there's... A couple pitfalls to doing it this way that we might be able to avoid. Okay, and the way I designed it now, mm -hmm. it would be a standalone fund, but the, you know it wouldn't be its own checking account. Right. It would be commingled in the general fund checking, but be I get it. Got it. Let's, okay. 
have that discussion if we can. <coughs> See no ordinances on second reading. Flood report, Mike? I have nothing flood report. Envision Ellensville update, Dan. Uh, Dan, Dan Rary, Envision Ellensville uh, and the Chamber. Um, this is a little redundant, not much has happened over the holidays, but we formed an advisory board to work with the town on the implementation. Uh, the members are Krista Curtis, uh, Donna Neese, uh, Dr. Sanders, Lisa Cisco, Paul Quick, and myself. And uh, the first three task forces are business, uh, connectivity, and gathering. And we're still asking people if they've got an interest in any of those to step forward. Um, we'll have a meeting, our next meeting is Thursday, and then the uh, task forces are gonna be meeting before the end of the month. So we're gonna get things uh, geared back up again. All right. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> On to new business. Automatic aid agreement with Moreau Fire District. I'm assuming correctly, probably that would be Kevin. You assumed correct. All right. Uh, we currently have a, we'll call it a gentleman's agreement <coughs> through the county 911 system that we respond to mainly structure fires into their area and vice versa. Uh, but that doesn't make ISO, which is the company that determines what your insurance rates are. So the only thing this is, is just the legal document that says we're going to do this, makes them happy, uh, hopefully, so the insurance rates continue to stay low. Okay. So do we have council action on this, or is this something you have to, do we have to approve this as no, this is something that um, you guys, if you approve it, will sign off on it and then it goes to the district board and they'll do the same because this is a, I guess, a contract, if you will, between the two governmental entities. What we currently have is, like I said, just between the chiefs. Right. Any council discussion on this? Any public comment? Seeing none, back to council action. I move to approve the automatic aid agreement with the Mill Fire District. Second. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Dan Swafford? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Agreement between the Town of Ellisville and Bynum Banyo Utilities, LLC, Water, Wastewater, and Town Manager. And <clears throat> Obviously, as we discussed earlier, um, we're trying to uh, extend our contract out to 2033, which would be a 10 year contract versus 2032. 2032, 2032 uh, and include the Town Manager's pay for Mike Farmer within our contract uh, until the board decides that they want to do, go a different direction. Then we would remove that from our contract. Pretty much the rest of the contract is as it's always been. Council discussion? Um, I, I thought we were going to do two separate things, Darla. Isn't that what you... That would be my suggestion, is to just take out that little piece with regard to the town manager and just do a little short contract. For the town way. manager's position. Right, separate. Okay. So they'll just be voting on the water wastewater. But I thought the clause in there saying that it could be terminated by us. Yes, that's okay. what, that language hasn't changed. Okay. Under Article 5, it allows the town to terminate the agreement upon 90 days or Biden and Fanio to terminate upon 90 days. Well, the town, but the town manager part I thought was separate that was still under our purview and we could terminate. Yes, but I, I guess I'm assuming that um, maybe wrongly that that would be on the next agenda and I would just do a little short piece. Okay. Or just a, like a one pager for the town manager. But I'll put the termination language in there, too. And it, the town manager's position will be a salary or a, a 
whatever contract, yeah, contract. contract. So, so yes, it doesn't really matter when we approve it. it he'll st you'll still get the same pay. Right. I mean, we can. Okay. I can put some language in there that makes it retroactive to January 9th, if that makes everybody more comfortable. That's uh, fine. The prices that are in your contract on, I don't know, on the toward the back, did that include the town managers? Because we might need to adjust those numbers. No, town if you look at the contract, the town manager's pay is set. Okay. Why are we from the water to two, two different ones? So then we can just mark that Where's out, Darla, of this yeah, existing um, contract. Darla said because by ordinance. Would it be easier just to table this and get fresh ones next meeting? It's up to them if they want to wait, or it's up to you if you. Um, I mean, this really doesn't hurt anything. I don't. It's up to you guys. Yes, we always bill in arrears, so we do not send you the January the month of January bill until February first. Because I'm with you. So we can do it the next time. So is it all right with you to just clean copies next mm -hmm. time? It's all right with me. Council, oh. <coughs> Scott's got a clarification. Right, right, because the statute for town managers states that you can either hire them as an employee, or if you do an independent contractor, the town manager can be employed to serve for a definite tenure, not to exceed the longest remaining term in office of the town council members at the time of his or her hiring. And then the ordinance that the town adopted at the time Jim Davis was appointed town manager was that same language. Okay. You've got the limitation on there <coughs> for the contract, no more than. Okay. But as I understand it, the rest of the council still wants me to put the language in there saying either party can terminate upon 90 days written notice. How does the council feel? Well, do so in other words, I don't think you can do a contract with the town manager for right. 10 years. Gotcha. So Scott, are you okay with tabling this till next meeting? Well, hang on, I got a quick question. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe not. It, can we write an evergreen clause in there so we don't have to visit this every four years? Um, barring the barring motions of the council, it continues on evergreen until? For the town manager? Yeah. Uh, can I think about that? Sure. Hey, can I ask why? Because it leads to uncertainty as to what we're going to do at the very last minute, whereas we need continuity for a leader of a government. Did you cue that? <laughs> <laughs> just one of the many things I can do, Dan. <laughs> And you're talking about just the evergreen clause for the town manager, not yes. okay. Yes, because the other one's already ten years. I, I mean, I don't have any problem with it. I just, I guess, I just don't understand. We we like reappoint all these every year. I just because that's by statute. Here we're doing a contract with an individual contractor, and this gives us continuity and gives the general public continuity and gives businesses that we're dealing with continuity. And again, the town council can intercede any one time on ninety days' notice. Or they can decide when the contract's coming up for renewal that they don't want to renew it. Uh, but here we don't have to worry about it. It continues in perpetuity, so we really realistically don't have to touch it until somebody's ready to opt out. But then I think that would be a conflict because of what Darla stated earlier, because it cannot proceed the longest member of the it's council, not. so an evergreen clause would in fact exceed. No, it doesn't. The evergreen would be in the next year-to-year -year extension. No, it would be a four-year extension. Every four. That years. without us touching it, but we're only right. appointing him for four years. But barring a barring some type of movement from a council, it continues again. It's 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 as of that we passed it and said he gets yes. it. Yes. Without actually having to put it on the agenda. Without actually put it on the agenda and deal with it. Well, can I think about that sure. and see what I can come up with? Yeah. What's the rest of the council's thoughts about that? <laughs> well, I. I you know, I'm okay with it as long as Darla is. I mean, yeah. to me, that's that's just yeah, that's that's contradicting, though. So, I mean, mm. if we do an evergreen, I mean, we're contradicting the original thing where we can't um, do a contract longer than the longest member of the council. Right, no, because so, they're new contracts. Like right, years. it's a new contract. It renews the, itself. The contract's renewed automatically. Right, but I think it should be renewed with a motion with the new council. That way. <laughs> I mean, because we'll it's history. up to Darla. I don't care one way or the other. I really don't. Well, one thing I do have um, a question, I guess, in Darla again. Uh, with the 90-day termination clause, let's say a council, a new council comes in and, and wants to sever that. Mm -hmm. Well, that new council is sworn in on the 1st of January. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't have 90-day notice to do it. 
wouldn't have, they wouldn't have to. That's true. If the new council decided they didn't want Mike Farmer to be the town manager, they would have to give 90 days notice. So you wouldn't be able to get a new person in until April or right, right. whatever every year. Just, yeah, I'm okay with that. I just. <clears throat> well, because he, I guess here's by way of explanation. <laughs> by the way, this would, would come up, assuming we do it now, then the way it sets up, the majority of the council is new as his comes up. Mm -hmm. So we need continuity because you would not have that because the potential for three brand new council people right. set on this council who have no idea what a town manager does or doesn't do is there. Right. They still have the option at one point in time to opt out, meaning we want to go a different direction, mm -hmm. but you still have at least 90 days worth of continuity between whoever's coming in, whoever's going out. So this council remains stable and the government remains stable. I don't disagree with that. I just want to make sure that sure. four year thing, the policy, right. that's not going to conflict with that. No, that's the 90 days out. Okay. That's why we have that right. in there. I, again, because the way. Yeah, we don't, for we don't soapbox, necessarily want a town manager gone and then, oh, let's go find another one. <laughs> well, it, and the thing that I don't want is, I'll be blunt, Indiana sets towns up to fail. Where it takes three out of five to be a boss and when three of the people are brand new. You have to have somebody running the day-to-day -day operations because potentially three people brand new have no idea how to run the operations. Right. Okay. All right. So is there a motion on the table for this agreement? Are we severing? Are we tabling everything? What, uh, what are we wanting to do? I move we table the town of Eltsville and Biner Faneuil's contract and the town manager's contract. That's until. just to be so they can correct it because right. the, the dollar amount the two. Gotcha. Does that put you in a bind, Jeff? No, no, no. Okay. As, I, as I spoke earlier, we don't bill, we, we bill everything in arrears, so we won't bill for January until February 1st. So. Okay. All right. So, second. second. Um, Darla, if you see a problem in anything, can you give us a heads up before the next? Sure. Council meeting. Ready for the vote? Mm -hmm. Yep. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Saker? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Dan Swafford? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Vote tabled. Assistant planner position. I think Denise has some great news to announce. Yes, this has been a long time coming. Um, Mike Farmer and I interviewed um, Mike Burns two times, had him in just last week, and um, we interviewed a total of three. It was a very hard decision, very good candidates, but um, Mike has experience with building and permits, and the main part of his job is building department. So I'm requesting to hire Mike Burns as the assistant planner, and he is here. Do you want to step up and introduce yourself real quick? Yeah. Hello, uh, I'm Mike Burns. Um, I'm fairly new to the Ellettsville area. I moved here in uh, November of 2020, being a longtime resident in northern Indiana where I was involved with the family construction business. So. I did many things there, um, and a lot of it revolved around permits and so forth. So awesome! All right, well, welcome right. aboard. Thank and you. And he much. will start Wednesday if he's approved. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any public comment? Actually, no. <laughs> um, any council action is what I actually had meant to say. <laughs> Mike Burns. I would move to to uh, approve the hiring of Mike Burns as the assistant planner. Second. Second. Go ahead, okay. give it to Pam. Okay. <laughs> Someone's filling up their bingo card tonight on seconds. William Ellis. Yes. Trevor Sager. I'll be recusing myself from voting tonight. Scott Oldham. Yes. Dan Swafford. Yes. Pamela Samples. Yes. Motion carried. Thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. And thank you, Denise. Welcome for, aboard. Yep. And I think this is probably Denise again. Grant agreement with the Community Foundation of Bloomington and Monroe. 
Yes, this grant um, is to um, move the log cabin on Vine Street up here and preserve it. So um, the grant's for $44,152, and that is our share, our matching funds come from ARPA um, funds. So um, there's an agreement that outlines what we're to do when it's to be completed and reporting. So I'm requesting permission for the president to sign it, and the agreement has been reviewed by Darla. Okay. Any council discussion? Public comment? Council action? I move we approve the grant agreement between the Community Foundation of Bloomington and Monroe. Second. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Saker? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Vance Walker? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. All right, privilege of the floor. Anybody want to comment on anything that's not on the agenda? From the public? Seeing none. Supervisor comments. Yes, um, I apologize for not having this on the agenda. Uh, we have recruited and interviewed an employee that we'd like to um, replace one of our laborers uh, in the Department of Public Works. And then we have uh, interviewed Zach, <coughs> Zachary Eads and uh, myself and Kip and a couple other people uh, interviewed him and uh, he comes well recommended. Yeah. He's got, oh, Jeff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and the other guy. Yeah. And the other guy. The other guy that's. Whatever his name is. Yeah. Sorry. And uh, so uh, he <laughs> comes from the city of Bloomington. He's got seven years of experience, so multi different skill sets uh, for the street department. We'll make him a utilities man, too. And uh, he's going to fit right in with what we've got planned for the next couple of years. Uh, so I'd like to recommend him for a labor one position, uh, salary $61,200. And um, I just need your approval. Is he here tonight? He is not. Okay. Any council discussion? Where will he be w working out of, utilities or street? Yes. <laughs> Someday we won't ask that question anymore. Um, he, went to, um, to make this more complicated, um, so <coughs> we have two other employees that we'll be asking for um, uh, you to hire as well for us in the next couple months. We want to be of uh, full strength when we start the NLT grant and, and three or four other large um, uh, capital projects. So um, <clears throat> in the next two years, it'll be hard to decide where he's going to be in, but we can work those details out. I mean, do you need to know right now? No. Okay. All right, council action. Make a motion to approve the hire of Zachary Eads for the position of laborer one. Second. William Ellis? Yes. Trevor Sager? Yes. Scott Oldham? Yes. Dan Swafford? Yes. Pamela Samples? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. All right, Jimmy. Yes, thank you. Uh, I handed out, uh, supplied you with a resolution. It will, won't be uh, ready actually till next meeting. It's uh, accepting the gift from the Senior Citizens uh, Housing Incorporated to the town of Ellsville of, of the cabin, the, the old uh, Morris Enright cabin. And basically, it says the town of Ellsville hereby accepts the gift of Morris Enright Vine Street log cabin from Ellsville Senior Citizens Incorporated. The town assumes all responsibility of insuring, relocating the log cabin uh, as of the date to be determined and hereby releases senior citizens housing from all liability and damage uh, of, of the cabin. And I also have the copy of the insurance that will take effect <laughs> when, we, when we take over the cabin. I also have a copy of the, the uh, cabin uh, uh, statistics there where it's at. What, what brought this along was the, the ground, uh, Marion's, uh, or, well, Marion's ground, yeah, but Morris's ground, has gone to Marion's son, and he's wanting to get out of there. The, the, it'll be the only thing that the town owns, or the senior citizens own ground-wise, is what the cabin actually sets on. And they're gonna do a quick 
as soon as we get it out of there, they'll do a quick uh, deed uh, turnaround for, for him. So really pretty simple, but uh, I thought you might have some questions on it. If you do, I've got, some, I've got some material here for you to look at. So this will be voting on next week? Ne next in two next, weeks. Uh, next yeah. two, yeah, next meeting. Sorry. And I just want to let you know, too, we've got two sergeant's positions open in, in the department, and one will be filled the next meeting, uh, the SRO uh, sergeant's position, and then one will be filled in the second meeting in February. So okay. thank you for your support on that. I appreciate it. Jeff? All right. Kevin? Kip? Denise? I have something. All right. So um, over the last seven months, um, all the, I just want to let you know, all the departments helped planning immensely. Um, we were just so busy. So I just need to thank all the departments and the town manager. And then I feel that Kip's probably going to scringe next time he hears me say, Kip, I need you to stop by or we got to have a meeting. But I just want to let you know that of all the grants, Kip's usually the one who calculates materials and measurements and everything for me. So I'm just so appreciative of that. But anyway, um, I just wanted to thank everybody for helping me over the last seven months. So Kip, you actually calculate that? I thought you just guessed. I'll leave your shoes on. Okay, you leave your shoes. Okay, that makes that's pretty good. All right, thank you, Denise. Sure. Sandy. Okay. All right. And council comments. Um, I'd like to say something real quick. Um, just like to thank Mike Farmer for um, being the town manager over the past few years and not getting paid for it. Um, I really glad to see that we're going to get this taken care of and get you the money you need. I know it may sound like a lot of times I'm not with you, but it's just questions I ask. Um, nothing personal, but. I want to thank you for all the work you do, and I want to thank you really for donating your time for Ellisville, too. So, More than welcome. Thank you. Trevor? I have nothing. Well, we did pay Mike. He got two tanks of gas a year extra, right? Wasn't it something like that? Well, we don't buy it. <laughs> no, no, not us buying it, but you saved it. Yeah, we helped him save money, oh, okay. so great right. job. <laughs> yeah, so we'll... <laughs> like a coupon, yeah. I just want to thank everybody. Uh, the last year has been, we did the largest budget, I think, in, in Ellettsville history. And I think we did a very good budget. I, I'm excited about what 2023 is bringing in police and fire. I'm glad our employees are starting off at wages that are competitive. And I think we're going to see hires reflective of that. And the supervisors have done a great job of uh, just kind of dotting their I's and crossing T's and, and helping each other. It is a team, and I cannot thank enough that being part of that. I'm very humbled by it. Thank you. Anything? Anything, Pam? All right. With that being said, we are adjourned.